Hello, I'm Katie Dennelson. I'm the curator of folk and self-taught art at the High Museum of Art. And like most of you, I'm stuck at home trying to be productive uh, during the few hours a day when I get uninterrupted work time away from my two very young children who you might hear crying in the background. <laughs> Um, I'm squatting in my husband's office. He's a writer, so he usually works from home. And so he has a pretty cool setup. Let me see if I can uh, do this and show it to you. Yes, he loves things, obviously. And it's a great space for inspiration. Um, so I'm very grateful for him to sharing it with me. Um, so I'm working on an exhibition of work by an amazing artist called Nellie Mae Rowe who uh, lived here in Atlanta, or just outside the city really in Vinings, and created an incredible body of work, mostly between um, 1978 and 1982. Um, she's known especially for her drawings, which you can see down here on the ground. I have several books that are open to pages of her drawings. And at the High Museum, we have the largest public collection of her work. We began collecting it in 1980. And then uh, in 2003, we made a major acquisition of her work through a gift from the Judith Alexander Foundation. And so when you're planning an exhibition, which is what I'm doing right now, um, of an artist's work, you, if they're alive, obviously you get to spend a lot of time with them. Sadly, Nellie Mayro passed away in 1982. Um, but at the very least, you're spending a lot of time with their art. Um, and unfortunately, I, I can't do that right now be, uh, because of quarantine. Um, but luckily I've been working with her work, um, with the actual objects themselves for about five years now. So I'm very familiar with many of them. And so what I'm doing is working, uh, from the kind of major publications on her and also from this printout binder that has, um, objects from the collection reproduce. Um, and right now I'm still just at the stage of kind of thinking through some of the major themes in her work. Um, but I'm getting to the stage where I'm going to be picking actual objects to put in the exhibition. So I thought I would kind of keep a video diary about it as I'm going through this process and share it with you along the way. So I hope that you'll enjoy uh, coming along this journey with me.